Hello, welcome to Easy and Fun Art. Today we're going to draw a seahorse. So let's get started. All right, right in about the center of your page, you're going to make an oval, but it's gonna tilt a little bit this way. It's not gonna be this way, just slight tilt. I'll show you. I did a light sketch to help the video go along quickly. And I'm going to make my marks very dark, but don't make yours dark. Do yours lightly so you can erase easily. Make a circle here, not a circle, an oval here, and then again, tilt an oval up here. Okay, and we're gonna attach those with a line that is curved. Do you see that line there? Curved line. So we have an oval here, a fat oval here, attached with a curved line. Then we're going to start down here on this kind of the side of this oval, not here, but about over here. And we're going to kind of make the letter S and have it go into a swirl. So watch, letter S going into a swirl. Okay, so let's go over that again. We're gonna have an oval tilted a little to the side. Another oval here, about, about a little over an inch away. Tilt it to the side. And if you notice, this oval's over more. See, this oval's in, kind of in the center of the page. This one's over to the left. So this one's in the center, this one's over to the left of the center. Starts right after the center of the page. So we make our oval here. We make our oval here at the... Uh, left of the center of the page. This one's at the center of the page. We attach with our curved line. And then from down here, we kind of make what looks like a letter S that goes into a swirl. All right, so now that you have that part done, we're going to start the body. Okay, so you're going to start with the head up here, go around this circle, and kind of make a little bit of, this is the head here, make it go a little higher than this circle. Then, then go straight over this part of the oval. And then you're kind of gonna make a ridge. This is kind of the, the seahorse's brow bone area. So make it stand out a little bit. And then we're going to make his little snout area. So a line here, a line here, this one's curved in, and his little nose there. Then you're just gonna go around this circle, and then start here, right about, actually we'll start up top here. Start at the top of here, and we're going to make the back of the neck of the seahorse. And this just attaches from here to here, curved, like that. Then we go to the bottom of the, kind of the chin, and we're going to attach from here to the chest area, okay? And then continue to follow around that oval and go down to the tail, to the swirl. And then this side, down and around, and into the swirl. All right, now we can erase the ovals and this inner curved line. So we're gonna take a minute to erase. Okay. Now hopefully if you made your ovals light it's easy for you to erase. Mine were pretty dark and they're actually not that hard to erase either. Now when you get down to the swirl here, it's kind of hard to not erase the sides as you're trying to erase that middle curved line that was your guideline. And that's okay because you'll just fill it in. Go back, fill it in if you have to. 
Okay, so you have now the basic shape of your seahorse. So what you're going to do now is fill in the eye. Now the eye is going to go right about here where the start of this uh, snout area is. Make a circle and then you're just going to make like a backward letter C. And fill that in pretty thick, like that. All right, and now we're going to add a fin. So just, you might wanna just lightly erase back here. So just on the back, he's got like a little kind of wavy fin. So you can make this ripply and it kind of fans out, see that, like a fan. And then you can add some lines in here. Kind of makes it look like a fin fanning out. And now we're going to add a little line under his chin, under the cheek here. And he has kind of like these spikes. Well, they're not really spikes, but they're they kind of look like spikes and they kind of also wave. They kind of, almost like the ocean, they kind of wave down, like the shape of a wave going down his back. You can keep going with these. Sort of like a curved triangular shaped shape. Okay. All right. So next, our seahorse is going to have some kind of like a, I don't know, scaly look or some shadowing in his body. So you're gonna make one line and then up here, another line following the curve of his body. And it doesn't matter if it kind of just goes into the tail here, you don't have to worry about that. Wherever it kind of just ends in the tail is fine. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna start our shadowing. And also, he has a little bit of like a, um, um, a gill here, so we could kind of indicate a gill. It kind of just goes up and around like that. And you can make your little dashes again for the gill. And also for his nose, you might wanna add a little shadowing at the end of the nose. And my nose looks a little too straight, so I'm going to make my nose a little bit bumped up over here. See how I kind of curved it up here? I think it looks more three-dimensional that way. Okay, right, now we're gonna really start shadowing our uh, seahorse, so let's start. We're just going to, wherever you made the lines, we're going to shadow it in there, then here, and this is to make it look like it has all those nice markings on its body. And at this point, if you wanted to uh, take out your colored pencils, I think this would be a good one for colored pencils or watercolor. You could even pencil this in first and then go over it with your colored pencil. That would be fine. And as you see, as you go down the tail, your markings get smaller and smaller until they disappear. And over here again, I would um, kind of start your next bit of uh, shadowing, not exactly the same level as this one because then they're just gonna look like one big stripe. So you wanna move it down a little bit. So your next shadow should be where this is empty, where this is not shadowed. You see what I mean? Just a little bit different. It shouldn't be exactly lined up as this side. And again, make them smaller and smaller until you can no longer see the shadow. And your last curved line, your like you're kind of almost like a like a row, a curved row. This last one here, 
you're going to just do the same. Continue shadowing. Okay. All right, so then when that's done, go back to your fin here, add a little more dashes to make it look like it's kind of shadowed and coming off of the back here and also a little bit ripply. You want it to look a little bit feathery. So you want to go in to the tips here and shade a little bit of lines in here like that. Okay. For the face, we're going to go in now and shadow our seahorse's face. You're going to want to shadow up by the brow bone here. A little in with the uh, where the nose is and then this like cheek area soften it on the bottom shade it in just on the bottom you're not going to shade the whole cheek in and a little bit of the I don't know what it is I guess it's a gill I don't know shade a little bit above his eye and you're going to want to make this maybe a little darker make like a, a line around it and then you can go back and shade in a little bit of the back of the head. A little bit under the chin area. And then you can even go back in and shade in some of these kind of like spiky looking protrusions from his back. And again, if you wish to color this in with some colored pencils or watercolor, this would be a really pretty drawing to color in, to give some color to. And even go in here and shadow a little bit of the tummy area just to make them look a little rounded even if you go over these um, markings that's okay too you could just kind of shadow those in I think it's done. You have a beautiful seahorse. And if you like this and it helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of other videos. And let me know how your seahorse turned out. And have a wonderful day. Bye.